In the wake of George Floyd's death, a 12 year old, 12 years old, an aspiring gospel singer has posted a heartbreaking song about what it's like to be a young black man right here in America. Watch. I'm a young black man doing all that I can to stay all the way I look around and I see what's being done to my kind every day. I'm being hurt. Wow, that's Kedron Bryant who captioned the post saying he's just singing what's in his heart. The video has more than 1.7 million views on Instagram and has been reposted by celebrities like Janet Jackson, LeBron James, Eva Longoria. Tori, I see a young Al when Lauren Lake was uh, on the show earlier. She spoke of her nine year old son. This isn't what they should be worried about. Where are we? Where's nope. our moral compass in today's day and age? I agree with you, Sam. CNN had a great headline. I don't know if you saw it, but as Omar Jimenez was being arrested, it came up and said two viruses are infecting America. One is COVID-19 and the other virus is racism. And we are at the brink of desperation on both ends. And there's nowhere to go but voice, gospel, yes. prayer, faith. That's when art comes and is elicited out of you because you have nothing left. That's why in gospel churches, you have a call and response response because there's a sense that there's nothing more that can happen that needs to come out of the body. This boy represented that in the most what's sad heartbreaking though, of ways. It is, but what's sad though, Tori, and I want to bring this to Al, the sad thing about all of this is this has been Al's reality since he was a kid. This has been his parents' yes. reality since they were a kid. And you say it all the time on the show, Tori, the only thing that's changed is that now we have cameras, Al. Right, we have, so we have cameras. So you've lived I mean, with this. I this was, is nothing new in your world. I was assaulted world. by the police 21 years ago. So this is this is not shocking to me. And Tori, the only thing that you said that I'll push back on about that, about two viruses infecting, is COVID is new. Racism is not. And uh, during the yeah. break, I gave Sam the analogy. It's like when you watch a, 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 a horror movie uh, and they build a house on top of like an old grave or something, the house is haunted, and they're trying to deal with these ghosts, and every room's got something weird going on with it, and they're trying to fix things as they go. But what they don't understand is there's something wrong with the house. The house is yeah. haunted. The foundation that this country was built on was built on ownership of human beings. And if we do not address that, if we do not address that inequity, we cannot move forward. We can build other additions to the house. We can make it look good from the outside. People from the outside would be like, cool, you got LeBron James and Coca-Cola and hamburgers. But we all know that inside that house, there is something going on, and it's, it's started since day one yeah. before we built the first brick, and here we are in 2020.